Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and today we are going to do a, well, not really a painting tutorial, not a proper one, as this figure was painted long before I started the channel, but just kind of uh, talk about the this uh, figure, Tywin Lannister, which I got from uh, Dark Sword Miniatures, they're George R. R. Martin Masterworks. Right, so, most of you here probably watched the show or read the books and know who Tywin Lannister is. So, um, in terms of their design, Dark Sword Miniatures have gone with a more medieval traditional design akin to the book and how he is in the book and that is very well represented in this uh, in the book there's a great level of description of detail uh, concerning him I don't know if the camera will be able to pick those details up but that's uh, hopefully we can try so um, it's so it's very traditional but in my painting of it I've kind of gone for a merging of the of the two including things from the book, but also including things from the TV show. So, in, you know, bringing in the black, essentially. In the book, he's not got any black armour. It's m mostly, it's entirely red. I thought the black helps break it up, and it's also a colour heavily used in the TV show. The black and the gold and the red and the gold, you know, it works really well. So, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I did to paint it. Um, Crucially, the details that I remember from the book was obviously the line in the centre, which you can come on focus. Is it going to focus? No, no focus. Okay, it's not going to focus. Anyway, so it's got the the line in the centre, and you can see there's two gold uh, outlines on its cloak. Those are the lionesses, and if you see on the helmet, you have that gold lion. So, you know, it very strictly follows the details. Um, in terms of just, like, how I painted it. So, the main issue was the armour being red. How do you make metal red? It's very difficult. Uh, there aren't many metallic red paints that you can find. So, I came up with a solution. I would essentially what I did was I took uh, a sort of a reddish metal colour so for the, I would recommend bronze or brass or copper or something like that and paint paint the armour in that all the bits that you want to be red paint them in that and then what I did was I gave it repeated and I mean repeated washes of red ink um, you will have to do multiple washes, probably, depending on how thick. Use your own discretion. But I had to do multiple washes of red. And then, essentially, that was it. It kind of produces its own highlights from where the light falls, and it would be very difficult to do highlights otherwise. Um, then, in terms of the black elements of the armour, I just basically painted them black in, I think, a gloss black get that sort of metallic look and then I dry brushed over with gold just to get a kind of a burnished look but also to suggest that there's some gold elements on there as well um, and then obviously I just use a fine detail brush to apply gold to all the kind of the raised bits and it's just delightful it's a delightful figure to paint in terms of the head I did uh, a sort of a darker flesh colour um, and then just gave some light dry brush highlighting around it. Um, that was basically it for the most part. Now just moving on to a really subtle but really important element, the cloak, which is just gorgeous. It's just so long and flowing and it looks very heavy. Uh, how did I paint that? So essentially, I believe what I did is I went over it in... I gave it a base coat of dark red. Um, and then I gave it a wash of brown. Which worked incredibly well. 
and then I gave it a another and then I dry brushed over with the same red and then I highlighted just on the sort of the raised elements in bright red and that was about it I mean I could have maybe done another highlight but I don't think it was necessary it looks really good the colors are quite soft but the slight um, brightness compared to everything else with the bright red really makes it look almost velvet like really soft and velvety um, so yeah and that was how I achieved it so it's a great figure basically if you're into Game of Thrones and you're into painting go out get yourself this I also really like the pose it's a really good pose it looks like Tywin's giving like a speech like friends Roman countrymen um, you know or is it as he's walking into King's Landing liberating them from Stannis it looks really good and it's a great it's a great miniature it's a little bit conventional in terms of its armor design but it deviates in enough places with the ornamentation on the breastplate with the helmet which I wish you could have put on and on the sort of the, the lower torso the skirting it's just a little bit different uh, enough from the sort of traditional armor design to make it really something very beautiful and very nice and the cloak helps enormously as just so much color is conveyed in there uh, so yeah this is what I, how I painted my time in Leicester uh, do you guys like it? do you guys like the way I did him? Uh, hit me up in the comments tell, tell me um, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video